it. I did not want to look at the la that, that pick. And I'm upset already. I don't like you, Dame Brugler. I don't like you. The NFL Draft is exactly one week away. And we're going to be reacting to some mock drafts today and give our thoughts and opinions on it. Let's go. What is going on guys? What is going on 27 squad? Welcome back in to another video. If you guys are enjoying the content, make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. If you guys want to support the channel even more, make sure you guys join the membership on the bottom there and you guys will be put on the outro on every single video so long as you're still a member so everybody can see you at the end of the video. And also in live streams, you get to use some special emojis that I'm going to be revamping very soon. And also if we get enough members, we'll probably do members only live streams where only the members will be in in the chat in the live stream and we could all talk new york giants football that way but if you guys want to support the channel even more make sure you guys join that membership all right we got a couple mock drafts today i compiled the top mock drafts from like the top experts around the top networks around to kind of get a good grasp on uh on where the consensus is on a lot of these top tier draft uh experts are with the new york giants and their drafts so let's start off with the first one also by the time you're seeing this on friday april 19th i want to say around 7 30 7 o'clock is when i'm probably going to do a live mock draft so you guys can join in and we'll do some live mock drafts we'll have some mock, we'll have some draft talk for the new york giants and we'll kind of get together i haven't done a live stream in a while so i really want to go ahead and start doing that very much more consistently for you guys and kind of uh get get to know you guys more and talk to you guys especially a lot of the new subscribers who probably never been to a live stream before all right let's start off from the mock draft from the 33rd team they're a network that is very prominent on twitter has a lot of different uh former nfl players and a, a lot of guys on there so um i follow them on twitter this was their seven round mock draft for the giants obviously the giants don't have a seven round pick so we're just looking at the six rounds and the picks that they have there um but look going overhead and looking at it i don't have somewhere i could scroll and see pick by pick so i kind of just got a screenshot for you guys but we got roma dunze round one which is great i don't think there are any there's no uh trades in this draft so just think about the overalls the giants already have and it's right here um so the giants go roma dunze edgerin cooper had linebacker i don't know how i feel about that one having edger and cooper we don't really need a linebacker especially in round two i actually don't even see the giants getting a linebacker if they do it's probably going to be round five or six for back end of the you know the roster and like special teams guys right because i think i think uh we don't have cam brown anymore i think it's just carter coughlin i don't know if we have cam brown anymore but all right so going into round three the giants addressing running back this is another big no-no i don't want the giants to address running back until at least day three i don't think i those those first three picks are going to be very pitiful a uh, pitiful critical and pivotal to our uh sort of team building in this upcoming uh season you know going ahead and getting the elite wide receiver i love the roma dunes they pick but you got to address some defensive players you got to address defensive interior you got to address a uh, address cornerback we don't have a number two corner that's something i really want to see now if one of those picks winds up being a quarterback then it's a different story then you kind of have to see what you can do in later rounds for those type of uh picks but i i'm not feeling i like jalen wright not feeling the third round pick uh round four kate stover out of ohio state i know there's this whole thing with darren waller but do you guys not trust daniel bellinger like do we not trust daniel bellinger anymore i i don't know i i like i like where we're at with our tight end room even if darren waller like retires and he doesn't play i like where we're at in our tight end room i really don't have a problem with it whatsoever uh so i don't think we need to go out and get another tight end in the fourth round daniel bellinger to me is a fine starter Round five, Jordan Travis. <laughs> I've said this on Twitter. If we don't go quarterback in the first round or trade up with the, with our second pick back into the first round or trade up in the second round and get like Michael Penix or something, if we don't do that, don't even bother getting a quarterback at all. Miss me with the Spencer Rattler talk. Miss me with the Jordan Travis talk, Michael Pratt. I don't want to hear any of those names. If the Giants are going to replace Daniel Jones, I'm not looking for a developmental guy to let's wait and see what he does in next years. Um, no, I need a guy that I know the Giants are going to build around him and start to develop him. And he, he's going to be good off the gate. 
uh, out the gate with Daniel Jones probably out the door next season. And this would definitely kick Daniel Jones out the door next season. Drafting a Jordan Travis or drafting a Michael Pratt or Spencer Rattler is not going to kick Daniel Jones out the door. He's just going to be in competition for the backup quarterback spot with with uh, with Drew Locke and Tommy DeVito. Like, I'm not drafting Jordan Tra Travis to compete with Tommy DeVito. I'm not doing it. And then we draft the safety kitten. Kitten? <laughs> Uh, o Oladapo, not Oladipo, Oladapo. Um, I'm okay with it. I don't, I'm not too familiar with um, a lot of these back end prospects. With some of them, yes, but not particularly with Oladapo. But addressing safety in a draft uh, for the Giants is not out of the ordinary. Um, I, I, I am okay if the Giants don't draft a safety in this draft. Um, I, am, I am okay with what we have right now for the time being. But if we draft a safety, I'm not complaining about it. All right, let's get on to the next mock draft. And this is coming from one of my favorite draft experts in draft analysis on PFF. I don't like PFF that much, but if you guys know NFL Stock Exchange, you guys know about Tampa Bay Trey, Trevor Sikama, and, and Connor over there. I love their show. Watch it consistently. Now, they came out with a seven-round mock draft, and this is what they came up with. I believe this is just Trevor Sikama, though. Um, so let's let's look at it. So here it is. Um, all seven rounds, obviously six rounds for the Giants, Malik Neighbors. So instead of Roma Dunze from the prior mock draft we looked at, we got Malik Neighbors. Going with Braden Fisk in the second round, I love this. I don't know if Braden Fisk is going to be there, but I love it. Uh, I love how quick he is. He's going to be a good match there with Dexter Lawrence and adding to that speed element that we have with Brian Burns on the edge. Adding Braden Fisk, Fisk there along with Kayvon. Dexter and um and, and Brian Burns is going to be an absolute mayhem of a defensive line so I love it I don't think he'll be there and then getting cornerback with the third round pick I love this already Kyrie Jackson out of Oregon um I, I love the positions however you guys know that I really want a quarterback in this draft and a lot of these mock drafts that we look at some of them have mock quarterbacks going in it but others don't and I man I just it's kind of bittersweet, right? Because I love this mock draft, but I'm just not feeling <laughs> no quarterback, man. I want a quarterback in here so desperately. But um, all right, so we got Kyrie Jackson, uh, the corner out of Oregon. Then we get Marshawn Lloyd uh, um, out of USC. This is kind of where I see the Giants going, going in the fourth round, even maybe even fifth round and getting another running back, trying to get something going of a rotation with Devin Singletary and Eric Gray. I don't know if Jashawn Corbin has a future on this roster, but Marshawn Lloyd would be a good rotational back to bring in there. I'm a big fan of Isaac Garendo. I think he would be a perfect fit for the Giants as he adds a sort of a home run ability for the running back group that is kind of lacking there, that home run speed. Devin Singletary, although he's small, doesn't have it. We know Eric Gray don't got it, right? So, uh, and then in the in the fifth round, the Giants address cornerback again with a sleeper pick, uh, Nehemiah Pritchett. A lot of people love Nehemiah Pritchett out of Auburn, getting him in the fifth round to try to help that cornerback group a lot more. It's, it's bad, guys. I don't know why a lot of people are not talking about our corner group, but I wouldn't be surprised if the Giants went ahead and got two corners in this draft, even though we have a lot of needs in other places. It's just that bad. Our secondary is that bad. Even with our slot corners, it's not good. Cordell Flat and Darnay Holmes are back. Um, although Darnay Holmes was a free agent, we signed them back. And now we're in the same predicament we were in last year where the slot is a big issue. Um, but we got Nehemiah Pritchett in there. And then for uh, the last pick, 6th round, 183rd overall, Nathan Thomas out of Louisiana, Raging Cajuns. Uh, not too familiar with his game, but... Um, it says it's a C grade, but, um, you know, adding a depth tackle in there, why not? All right, next we get to use our desktop catcher and we're going to be looking at the, uh, the athletic seven round mock draft. A lot of people love Dane Brugler. A lot of people love him. Uh, I'm not too, too, too familiar with him, but a lot of people love him. So let's get on to this mock draft. This is actually a blind react to this mock draft. I saw the other ones cause I had to copy the image. But this one, I try to keep it a blind react. So let's get onto it together. All right, so let's go. Uh, Malik Neighbors, round one. All right, so we I don't really need to talk about Malik Neighbors that much. We all have seen Malik Neighbors drafted and why he should be drafted there. So Malik Neighbors, round one. Let's see. All right. 
Round two, Jaden Hicks. Shout out to Bobby Skinner. Uh, he said, if you if you love missed tackles, you're going to love Jaden Hicks. Something like that. But um, I haven't watched Jaden Hicks there, but he is one of the top safeties in the draft. Like I said, I can see the Giants getting a safety in this draft. I would think probably day three if they do. I don't think safety is that much of a priority to address in the earlier rounds. I think the Giants have much other pressing needs there on the roster to address safety. I think, like I said, corner, defensive interior, wide receiver, quarterback, those are the four positions I really need the Giants to address and attack in the first three rounds. Safety, not a big fan of addressing, but a lot of people love them, so... And obviously, a lot of people are going to have that because the Giants lost Xavier McKinney. So they're going to try to, you know, just completely replace all of a sudden, you know, just plug and play uh, players as a lot of people do with mock drafts. Um, so, all right, let's move on to the third round. Trey Benson. See, I like Trey Benson. I love Trey Benson. If you don't have Trey Benson as the number one running back in the class, what film are you looking at? Definitely has big playability, home run threat guy, can catch the ball out the backfield, very comfortable catching the ball out the backfield, high points the ball like a wide receiver would, is not scared of contact on those wheel routes, goes up and gets the ball, uh, and, and runs with great vision, and has a, a decent amount of pa uh, power to him as well. Although he looks a little small, I don't know what his measurements are, but he does look a little small. I think it's like 5'9 or something like that. I could be completely off, but he just does look a little small. Um, uh that Trey Benson does. I did not want. I didn't. God damn it! I did not want to look at the la that that pick, and I'm upset already. I don't like you, Dame Brugler. I don't like you. I don't like you. I said. Th oh my goodness! I can't. I can't. I can't. So I like Trey Benson. If the Giants draft him in round three, I probably won't be that mad about it. I love running back. It's in my channel name, but. Like I said, we have other pressing needs. I don't think running back is one that I need to address in the first three rounds. I have some depth there. I have a decent starter in Devin Singletary. There's no need to get Trey Benson. However, if you do, then you do. Uh, it says Brugler bypasses South Carolina quarterback Spencer Rattler, as you should. But I don't like the move that I just saw. I don't like it. I don't like it. So the Giants go, and I, I spoiled it for myself, and I'm already upset. The Giants go ahead in the in the fourth round and get Michael Pratt. I, 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 if you look at, shout out to Bobby Skinner again because he went ahead and did the research of all the quarterback um, hits and misses in the, the past couple of drafts. Just, I think, in the last five years or something like that. And it's insane how many teams draft quarterbacks in day two, day three, and like none of them hit. I think like four quarterbacks out of like five years that were drafted that were not drafted in, 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 in round one. I think like four of them hit. And one of them is Brock Purdy. Okay, you got Brock Purdy, uh, Sam Howell, who is probably is, is already a backup. You know, th th it's just not advisable. Stop talking about these sleeper quarterbacks. You're not, it's, it's very unlikely you're going to get a Kirk Cousins. Very unlikely you're going to get a Russell Wilson. Very unlikely you're going to get a Dak Prescott. It's just not likely. I don't like this. I don't like this. It's already an F for me. It's already an F. All right. I, I don't like it. Um,. Decides to get a developmental quarterback. He takes Pratt while leaving some potential, potentially useful players on the board. Yes, you did. Oregon quarterback Kyrie Jackson, who we saw in the last mock draft. Uh, Texas defensive tackle Tavondre Sweat. I would have liked. I would like Tavondre Sweat um, in this like fourth round. Tight end Kate Stover, Michigan Zach Zinter. That would have been a great pick. Colorado State Muhammad Kamara. Mm, um, I like. I, I just don't think we need to address edge right now with Brian Burns that we got. Uh, South Dakota, Dakota State guard more, uh, Mason McCormick. A lot of people love McCormick. I haven't watched anything on him, but a lot of people love McCormick. Um, so yeah, <laughs> look, look, look at this. Whoever Valentine is, I didn't. I didn't see that. I didn't see that. I didn't see that. Whoever Valentine is, shout out to Valentine. Valentine's views. Love it. Love it. I'm not a big fan of taking a quarterback swing on day three, but this would be understandable for the Giants. I don't love it anymore. I don't love it anymore. I don't, I don't want to hear what you have to say. Moving on. All right. So round five, Josh Newton, cornerback. So we didn't address corner this whole draft, right? Yeah, we want safety. So we kind of flip-flop priority here in positional value. We address the least valuable position in the second round, and instead we get where we don't have a cornerback two at all. All right, we don't have a cornerback two at all. 
and we go in the fifth round and get one. It's just like the the math ain't math, and I get these guys aren't like so deep in the Giants and what their needs are and how like just look at the roster, bro. Read the room. There's no cornerback two on this roster. Like I, I don't understand any other team you have them taking a cornerback in the first round, but not us. Not us. You know. So, um, moving on. Josh Newton, uh, 190. Okay, I don't know too much about him, but. Here we go. Uh, and then round six. What what value this is. I love this pick. I love this pick. I don't... I love this pick. Justin uh, Aboigbe. I had Justin Aboigbe. A lot of people have the Giants getting Aboigbe. Maybe it's a match made in heaven. But he's not a top 30 visit. Um, but I had the Giants drafting him in my first mock draft before it was cool. Okay? Before it was cool. But... Um, yeah, now everybody's doing it. Now everybody's doing it. Um, I think a boy B is a great fit for the Giants. I, I'm not too familiar with how Shane Bowen runs his defensive line, but as far as we know how the Giants really run things, uh, in, in years past, even with different coordinators, Dexter Lawrence lines up pretty much everywhere. Um, you know, as you guys know, we started off as a three tech, um, then went to nose and is probably one of the best nose tackles in the league, but still can move around different places. And, you know, in years past, we had Dalvin Thomason in three tech. And then most recently we had, you know, Leonard, uh, Leonard, Flo um, Leonard Floyd, um, Leonard Williams playing that three tech slash five tech. He would sometimes go out wide uh, playing on the edge. Justin Avoidby can do that kind of stuff. You can, you can put him at edge, um, you know, four I five technique, three tech. He can do all that stuff and have a good pass rush ability from the inside. So. I love him as a pick. Um, he can provide good pass rush. Not much, in my opinion, as a run defender, but but can provide good pass rush there for the Giants. So um, I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it. Um, so okay, mixed feelings about this draft. Okay, I'm not I'm not too enthused by it. I like Malik Neighbors. I'm not liking Jaden Hicks. I like Trey Benson, but I feel like we can go elsewhere with those picks. Um, and Michael Pratt, really, bro. Josh Noon, cool. Justin Boyd beat great value. Uh, it's whatever to me. It's whatever. What do you guys think? This sort of thing. Um, it says the Giants get a wide receiver and a quarterback. So it's kind of spoiling it a little bit. Um, again, another blind react. I haven't seen this one yet. So let's see what it what it is together. But they did a three-round mock draft. So it's just going to be three rounds. Okay. So Giants get a wide receiver and a quarterback. So I'm assuming they're going to go wide receiver then quarterback. I don't... Uh, we'll see we'll see so first up Malik neighbors okay so I really hope this is not freaking Spencer Rattler I hope to God that we didn't go in the second round and get Spencer Rattler I hope to God all right Yates make made this pick I really don't want to spoil the next pick so I'm like trying to read this off and not all right um so McCarthy goes to five with the trade with the Chargers. So um, that's the fourth quarterback on the board. The Giants aren't going to reach for a quarterback, the fifth best quarterback with the sixth pick. So understandably so, the Giants get Malik Neighbors. Like I said, I'm still, even though I want a quarterback, I'm still rooting for Malik Neighbors to the Giants because I want the Giants to make a move for a quarterback with the second pick, trade up, do what you got to do, you know, and, and, and get a pick. So, all right, so let's go to the second pick. Ugh. Man, I don't know what to feel about this. Ugh. Ugh. I don't know, man. I, I just don't think Bo Nix is a Giants quarterback. I, I, I think Bo Nix is way too... I don't know. If you think of Brian Dable quarterbacks, they're just not robotic. I, I just see Bo Nix as being so robotic, so um, film enthused where he's just like, here's my one, two, three, four reads and here's my dump off and just so robotic. I just don't see him being... A, a Brian Dable quarterback. I just don't see it, man. Um, I know he's secure with the football. I know he's very good under pressure, but man, it's, to me, I think his only destination would be with, um, w with with the Broncos, man. With Sean Payton there in the Broncos. I don't know if the Giants. So the Giants traded up from forty-seven to thirty-eight, giving up their seventieth overall pick. Um, I don't know how I feel about it, man. I really don't. Um. Oh, Michael Penix went off the board to to the Los Angeles Rams? Who made that pick? Did Yates make that pick? Yo, Field Yates has been on 
he's he's sniffing something, man, because I've been watching his mock drafts, and they're not good. I know he's new to this whole thing, but they're not good, okay? Um, to the Rams, are you serious? And we couldn't get a... Oh, man, the Giants should have traded to the, to the top pick, not the Rams. There's no way, man. There's no way, but there's that. All right, so we saw a couple of mock drafts. I don't know. I'm just not enthused with a lot of them. I think, listen, it's always cool to look at experts' mock drafts, but at the end of the day, are they any more right than we are? Probably not. In fact, I probably trust a lot of content creators' mock drafts more than I do so a lot of these experts because they are just too in tune with every team that they can't be really accurate with just one team. So, it's hard to do, and I understand that. So, uh, what do you guys think about those mock drafts? If, if you want, leave your own mock draft in the in the comment section below. I always love looking at that. If you guys want to join me tomorrow for a uh, mock draft live, I'll be doing that, um, and we'll be able to do some of these mock drafts together. But that being said, if you guys like the video, make sure you guys like the video and subscribe if you guys are new. I'm Kid Blue, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Woo!